I do not support it. When Representative uh, Clemens was here at Santa Fe to do Legislative Day, we made it very clear that it's not something for the good of the citizens of Alachua County. Well, I'm adamantly opposed to the bill. No, I do not. I, I think it's uh, detrimental to African Americans. I oppose House Bill 1493. I oppose House Bill 1493. In Alachua County, you don't have a large concentration of African Americans living in one portion of the county. So you have African Americans in Alachua County living in each municipality, uh, each area of the county, but not in large concentrations. The African Americans live all across Alachua County. So it'd be very, very difficult for an African American to have a minority access seat. I think it would probably be more challenging because for nearly 50 years, African Americans have been elected to the county commission from an at-large position. It's been proven that African Americans can be elected uh, at large uh, based on their platform, their qualifications, and what resonates with the citizens. I don't think single member districts are necessary to elect black and um, African American candidates in Alachua County. And I am actually a prime example of that. I actually live in a district that is one of probably one of the most affluent districts in our county, probably whiter. And by having um, an at-large, holding an at-large election, I won an ele an, a countywide election. If you look back at our um, history, the history of voting in Alachua County, we have had two African Americans on the county commission at one time. We've had three school board members um, that had to run countywide. Uh, we've had an African American on the Alachua County Commission since 1974. And all of them have been elected at large. And I think if, this, if it does pass, uh, there are going to be some challenges because it will be retrogressive. And we can do it now at large, so we don't need to have single member districts. Unfortunately, I believe this will make it more difficult to elect African Americans in Alachua County. And not that I'm aware of. I would have been delighted to speak with them. Not to my knowledge, and I think Representative Henson, um, when they had the vote at Santa Fe, she voted um, against it. I was not approached by Representative Clemens, and I'm not aware of any African-American leader or person that was actually approached and asked about their thoughts about having a single-member district form of government. A single-member district form of government in Alachua County would not be um, advantageous to African-American voters. No, he has not talked to me at all in reference to his bill. His bill is troubling to me uh, because when, when you really look at it, it it's a way of, of not getting African-Americans elected. He did not reach out to me, and to my knowledge, he did not reach out to any of the African-American leadership that I'm aware of. I absolutely wish that he would have reached out to me. I would have been very interested in a conversation with him about his logic and his reasoning and his ultimate desires. Representative Clemens did not speak to me and, and the other elected officials, African-American officials that are elected, folks in our community, no one knew about it. The reason I'm adamantly opposed to the bill is because one, it's a major preemption uh, it's an affront to local home rule authority. And the Charter of Alachua County provide ways by which it can be um, changed. So I don't think we need interference from Tallahassee for the people in Alachua County to, to make a change to the Charter. Um, I don't like that at all. There's so much that needs to be done in Tallahassee, and I wish our, our representatives would concentrate on state issues, leave the local issues, to the local elected officials. The same people that are pushing this and supporting this were trying to create a brand new county. And so because they didn't succeed on the local level, they wanted to go up to the state level and come through that to preempt what the desires are of local officials. There is a means by which we can get that done here locally and they chose, they were not successful and they chose to take an alternative route. So I think the preemption of local authority, we really have to beat that back. I think circumventing home rule 
is a major issue, and that's clearly what has happened here. The people of Alachua County uh, have the right to have our processes that we put in place respected. If this should move forward, it would be a gross miscarriage of justice. My hope and prayer is that justice will prevail in the end. I think it should be the same as a state. If <clears throat> have those same type of criteria, you go get the signatures, if you provide those signatures, then it becomes uh, on the ballot that way. But to do it by the legislature is absolutely wrong.